What's up everybody, it's Broken Bones here and welcome to Broken's Bedrock Tutorials. Today we're going to be showing you how to build a hopper line shocker box unloader version A. Out of all the different models to choose from, the reason why you would choose this one is because you'd want your items in the shocker boxes to go into one hopper and you'd want your shocker boxes to go into another. So as you can see here, here's our shocker box output, it's going to be on the top and our items is going to be on the bottom. And around back here, as you can see, we've got two different hoppers and you can take these hoppers, they don't have to go into the barrels, they can go in any direction you really want them to. You could take the top hopper and run it off to that side, or you could take the bottom hopper and run it off to that side, or this side, it doesn't really matter. You can have your shulker boxes and your items end up in two different locations via hopper lines. And as I stated in the beginning of the video, this is the hopper line shocker box unloader version A. There is a version B, which is right here, right next door. And the difference between these two is where your shocker boxes and items go. So here, our shocker boxes go into the top and our items go into the bottom. And this is the version A unloader. In the version B unloader, the shocker boxes go in the bottom and the items go in the top. So you literally have a choice of which hopper you want your items and shocker boxes to go into. You guys might want to consider putting one of these at the beginning of your sorting system or maybe even a furnace array. And as you can see in my inventory, I've got a couple shocker boxes here because I'd like to show you why you guys would want to use this. So as you can see in these shocker boxes, they've only got 16 sand. That's so they can drain out extra quickly and the demonstration will go extra fast. So you can have anything in these shocker boxes that you want. You can have coal for a furnace array or you can even be done with the project and have a bunch of jumbled up items. It doesn't really matter. All you need to do is come to this chest, go ahead and put them in here, and as you can see, they're automatically going to get dispensed. And immediately, your items are going to come out into this uh, hopper line right here, into this barrel, and then as you can see, the shulker boxes get put into this hopper line, into this barrel. So as I stated earlier, these are two different hopper lines. You can have those going in any direction you want, and your shulker boxes would end up wherever you put them. And same thing for your items, and as you can see, we're almost done here, and all the way up to the very last shulker box, your shulker boxes will get separated in one direction, and your items will get separated in another. Unfortunately, I do not have an example of where I've used this in one of my own builds, but that's because I do tutorials and things for you guys where storage is rather subjective. We don't really show you how to build the storage, we show you how to build the farm or the machine that gets you the items that you want, and the storage is up to you. Which is exactly what this video is intended to do. It's intended to help you guys create your own storage system so you guys can have OP shulker box storage and use these things together and make yourself a nice storage area using shulker boxes. And with that being said, please take note that during the tutorial, you do not have to follow this tutorial block for block. The only thing that does need to be block for block is the redstone out the back. You do not need to create a facade the way I've done it. You also don't need barrels right here. You also don't need this chest right here. You could have your barrels going into hopper lines and going in any direction that you really want to. And you can also take this chest, you can take it off, and you could have, say, an industrial district that creates a bunch of shulker boxes worth of items, has them come over here, and then they unload into this thing. And as I said earlier, this would be really good for a sorting system. You could have all your farm's shulker boxes come into here and get sorted into your sorting system. That's why this shulker box unloader is very, very powerful and very useful. So if you want to build this thing, you're going to need to prepare an area out the back that is five blocks deep, five blocks tall, and three blocks wide to one side. And now let's get started with the tutorial. Material list will be down in the description. We're going to come right here to the middle. We're going to come right around back. We're going to place in five blocks. One, two, three, four, and five. We're going to come up by one just like this, and you can go ahead and break these two out. Right here on this block, you're going to go ahead and place in a redstone torch with a piece of glass on top just like this. This does not need to be a piece of glass by the way, it could be a slab, but it needs to be some form of unthawed block that will not transfer redstone signal. Then on this block right here, we need a repeater on one tick. Then we're going to come back out front, we're going to place in two barrels, one right here and one right here. And again, if you don't need these barrels, then you're running your hopper lines left or right, feel free to do that now. And then in the back of these barrels, we're going to go ahead and put in our hopper lines. So go ahead and place these in just like this. And again, you'd want to place those in the directions of your hopper lines. Once you have this in place, go ahead and come right in front of your repeater here and break these two temporary blocks. And then come back behind this torch and go ahead and place in yourself a bit of redstone dust. That's why that cannot be a solid block. It has to be a uh, transparent block or something that does not transfer redstone signal. Otherwise, you'd have a clock right there. Then right here, we want to go ahead and place in a block on top of that glass block. We're going to place one out to the front and one out to the back and break that one on top of the glass. Grab yourself a redstone comparator and go ahead and place that in there just like this. And then to whatever side you have three blocks of space on, you're going to need space over here or space over here. And because we are doing our stuff on this side, we're going to go ahead and place in three blocks right here just like this, mirroring that one, and placing yourself another comparator right there. 
Then off to this side, we're going to go ahead and take in ourselves a sticky piston, face in the up position just like this. Then grab yourself an observer and place it on the top with the red dot facing forward just like so. Then what we're going to do there is we're going to go ahead and place in a block right there and then one up just like this and break that one out. Grab yourself a repeater and place it in there and put it on there on four ticks. Just below this one, you're going to come to the side that you have space prepared on. Go ahead and place in yourself a sticky piston facing down with an observer on its face just like this, making sure that the red dot is facing towards this side, whatever side you have space. Then you're going to go ahead and take a block, put it on that red dot, come to the other side, and place in yourself a dispenser on the bottom of that block. Once you have your dispenser in, go ahead and come around back and you should see that this comparator is directly behind your dispenser right there. Go ahead and take a sticky piston right next to the other sticky piston and face it in there sideways just like this with an observer on its face with the red dot facing that block. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take a hopper, you're going to go ahead and come up on here and go ahead and crouch place a hopper into the back of that dispenser. Now you could have your farms feed shulker boxes into here or if you want to do it manually with a chest. Go ahead and place yourself in another hopper there and a chest in right there. Take some carpet and go ahead and finish that off. Grab yourself a, a solid block and cover that hopper just like that. Then you can come around front and you can place in your decorative blocks. Go ahead and grab your facade and go ahead and place these in here just like this, leaving the block above the barrels open just like so, and then that's going to be where your glass goes. Make sure if you have that spot open, go ahead and come right around here, placing yourself a glass block or another solid block. And now your soccer box unloader is fully complete. All you need to do is test it now, so go ahead and grab yourself a couple of soccer boxes with a few items in there. Go ahead and open up this chest, go ahead and place them in here just like so, and you should see that they automatically get dispensed and all your items start to come out the bottom and your soccer boxes will start to come into the top. And as you can see right here, when it gets broken, that should come into the top and your items should stay down here. And it should do that all the way to the end. So we're gonna go ahead and watch this happen. This is the last shulker box coming in right here. So we have two in here and all of our items are still coming in down here. And at the very end, you should see that this one gets broken and now we have none left. All of our shulker boxes are at the top and all of our items are in the bottom. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the Hopperline Shulker Box Unloader version A. This thing is super powerful and super useful. Let me know down in the comment section some of the ideas that you guys have that you guys want to use this thing on. And check out my social media and leave me a picture or two of some of the builds that you guys are going to create using this thing. I'd be really excited to see that. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. And if you guys did, smack the like button and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next tutorial. Take it easy, everybody.